First, Maryland women may now terminate the parental rights of men who impregnate them by rape. A law was signed today that many see as long overdue. Political reporter Pat Warren reports there may still be some issues to resolve. Legal recourse for women whose children are conceived in rape to terminate the father's paternal rights has been hung up in the General Assembly for years. Today's bill signing represents a decade of hard work. I know this is a long time coming for a lot of the advocates, people who've worked on this issue for uh, up to 10 years. The House Senate bill got top priority this session and was signed today as emergency legislation, making it effective immediately. Maryland was one of just six states in the U.S. with no law on the books to terminate the rights of men who father children by rape. But Senate President Mike Miller, in his view, says the bill is open to question. If you propagate a child, guess what? You should be responsible for the support of that child. Now, one of the concessions that the Senate had to make in order to allow this bill to get passed was that relieve this rapist of parental responsibility for supporting the child. That's an issue that is likely to be addressed in the future. But for now, the bill has passed unanimously in both the House and the Senate and signed into law, and advocates are taking a victory lap. I'm Pat Warren reporting for WJZ. Now back to you. Women may pursue parental termination without criminal charges of rape.